guys, welcome back to my channel, Limitless B W L. Today I'm filming the ride or die makeup tag for you guys. Uh, obviously, no one actually tagged me in this video because I'm not cool enough, but I still wanted to do it because I know a lot of you guys ask me recommendations for products and stuff, so I thought that this would be a great tag. Plus, it was kind of fun for me too, so let's just get straight into it. Basically, I'm just going to kind of go in the order of how I would put stuff on my face, I guess. But as you guys should know from my last video, my favorite color corrector of all time right now is the Smashbox orange color corrector so it is the dark orange one I love this one I use this on like all my clients and it makes a really big difference if, like even if you're more fair than me or anything I would really use this for someone who's like super fair but like anywhere from like medium to like darker complexions this works perfectly it makes such a big difference in terms of my makeup and i absolutely love it i also like that it's kind of like a creamy consistency so it like lasts on the face really well even on my oily skin so it's like thick enough to cover enough and at the same time it's comfortable so i love it love it so 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 much and i like that you can sharpen it so you're not really wasting product and like if it was in a tube you sometimes you can't get everything out so yeah that's this and it comes with a sharpener so that's another plus but yeah let's move on to foundation okay so as for foundation my favorite foundation of all time out of the ones i've tried is the nars all day luminous foundation and this is in the shade macau so it is a little bit light for me right now so i don't use it currently but i love this foundation on myself and on other people as well it is meant for oily skin but i use it on a lot of my dry skin clients at my store as well and i think it looks so good it's super full coverage but really really lightweight it's two pumps it's supposed to cover your entire face and i definitely think it does and it just gives like a super flawless canvas as well again like how the pro like the primer i mentioned this does break me out too but i still wear it like if i'm going somewhere that i just really want my foundation to look really good but i love 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 this foundation even though this does break me out i love it enough to actually use it even when like i just like i just need this i love this foundation if you guys aren't like super sensitive and stuff definitely recommend you guys to try this as for concealer my favorite concealer right now is the nyx concealer i love this concealer so much definitely replace the nars concealer because it's so much more affordable it's like 10 12 dollars whereas the nars one is like almost 40 dollars and i find that the consistency is very similar to that but it's actually probably closest to the urban decay so it's really 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 nice i love it for the price point i love it for the consistency and i love it for the ranges of colors that they have they're really warm and stuff just the way i like my concealers so this is definitely a bright oh don't so for my setting powder, this is another one I showed you guys in my last video, but that is the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Powder. I love, love, love this powder. It definitely really, really helps, like with the fine lines. I think I forgot to put it on today, actually. But like if I was to actually go out somewhere, I would definitely put this on. It keeps me super matte. And even if you just kind of want to touch up, they do have this in a pressed version as well to carry around. You can just blot your nose and honestly, it just takes away everything and it doesn't make it look Kind of like separated especially for someone such as myself who's oily and wears a lot of foundation and stuff like that on your face sometimes when you get oily it kind of makes everything look separated and then you put powder on and then you can just see everything whereas with this powder it's not like that especially on the nose area it comes out like super duper smooth so i really really like it sorry i keep looking there because it's getting dark when i go like hmm, hmm. so yeah i love this powder and there's light medium and deep so i have the deep one and the there is a little bit color to it but it's not like super visible like you you could still use the light one just as a setting powder as well but i use this one just because it gives me a little bit of a finish overall finish okay moving on to contour yep. i love contouring because like it just makes a really big difference in like everyone's face shape so my favorite contour palette to be very honest is the kat von d contour palette although i don't have that palette because the colors just don't match me but to use on my clients it is my favorite whereas for me my favorite is my customized anastasia palette i don't personally like any of her like pre-made palettes because i don't think the darker ones have really good colors for darker complexions they're very warm and stuff like that they're just not cool enough to be a contour shade so this is my customized one and like i just have a variation of colors this is the one i use the most to really give myself like a deep and contoured look and this is in the shade carob i believe so i love these they're the pigment and stuff is really good but the reason the other one is my favorite is because I find the consistency very good and it really ranges from anyone to just like a little bit lighter than me. You could definitely use it, but I'm too deep for that palette. But I love that one. If you had to choose one and you could fit in those shade ranges, 
choose that one it's amazing so now i have something that i haven't really showed on this channel like ever i think but that is a cream contour palette which i love this is my favorite favorite cream contour palette out of all cream contour palettes I've tried and that is the Stila one. This is in the shade Deep. I believe they have two or three shades and it comes with a light shade and a dark shade and the reason I love this is because of the dark shade. I personally don't use the light as you can probably see because it's really fine. Like I mean it's really creamy so crease is really bad but the color is still is amazing and I love the dark one. I am wearing it today. Uh, it's just really really like blendable and it lasts all day and stuff like that the color payoff is really really good too so uh, these are my favorite contour palettes i kind of named three but giving you guys options as for blush i also have two options just for like an everyday blush and kind of like a blush that i like to do when i want to look a little bit more glamorous but they both are blushes i definitely think like would suit everyone's skin tone but from brand wise my favorite blushes are the nars blushes i think they're super pigmented they last for so long and like a little bit goes the longest way and literally even like the product itself lasts forever because you only need a little bit so the first color i have is in the shade torrid i've used this in several of my makeup tutorials i love this so much because it's kind of like a corally pink so every time you kind of want to look glowy more natural like every skin tone this one looks beautiful i love it and for like darker complexions even lighter complexions who want to go that extra mile and want to look like super contoured for lighter complexions the beautiful one is this shade it's kind of like a deep burgundy and this one is the shade seduction like i did say for lighter complexions this would be a good shadow like a good blush if you guys want to just like top it off with contour like layer on top to give like a really intense contour whereas for a complexion such as myself this is just like such a beautiful shade to just wear on its own or anything like that it's beautiful i love both these blushes so much nars blushes are my fave okay, so now for the best part of makeup we're gonna talk about highlight so honestly i would have said becca highlighters are my favorite highlighters but they are not only because if you drop them once they're dead and they're like 50 to 60 dollars like with tax probably and it's just not worth it to me if something breaks that much and literally i have two shades and i just keep them there so what has replaced that in my heart is the anastasia glow kit obviously i was gonna say this but the reason i love this glow kit is just like everything this specific one the shades are super duper creamy as in like like the texture of it is super duper creamy this color i use all the time i could definitely use this one too these two i just like throw on just like right over there kind of thing to add a little bit of a pop to my highlight and another reason is you're getting four shades for the price of one becca highlighter like this is amazing i know it's always sold out now so guys honestly your best bet is going to be to just like sign up for the wait list on sephora so they let you know when it's going to be back and then just get it because you need this in your life. It's amazing. My favorite highlighting palette, and there's a reason it's sold out. It's really, really, really good price point, and the quality is amazing as well. Next, we're gonna move on to brows. So my current, like actually my like new ride or die for brows is the Benefit Groove Proof. So this is very similar to Anastasia's Brow Definer, but it's Benefit. Let me see. So as you can see, it has that same angled point, and I love this because Compared to the Anastasia Brow List, I really love that too, but that lasts for like less than a month if you use it every day. Whereas this, I use it every single day and it's lasted me for a few months. And like, I love it. It's totally worth the price for $30. That's like $27 or something like that. But this lasts forever. And like, it's so easy to create a sharp line, to fill in, to do really lightly. And it has a brush on the side. It's a perfect, perfect product i love this one and the color ranges are really really nice in it too and i like that it goes from like one to six instead of like naming the shade like i don't know i think it's so much easier and stuff i love it next i have an eyeshadow primer so i know you used to use my back concealer for eyeshadow but like i've honestly grown love for an eyeshadow primer which i used to use before and that is the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion the original one i love this so much i don't know why i ever stopped using it and like i know why it was so popular before and like if i put this on my eyes for like a seven o'clock shift it will be there until i take it off like whatever time like it doesn't matter how long it is it never creases or budges or anything no matter what shadow i use on top or anything of course you want to set it in place with a proper shadow i just suggest any kind of shadow that matches your skin tone and i love this i love all the colors of this personally i use this one because other ones i 
don't need the anti-aging one and Eden is too light for me but I definitely use Eden on anyone who's more fair but for this one it's just perfect I love it like your eyeshadow is gonna last forever and I have super duper creasy creasy oily lids so this is perfect I love this so for eyeshadow, I wasn't sure if I was going to show you guys an eyeshadow or eyeshadow palette. But then I thought to myself, I'm like, no. Like, I have an eyeshadow that is, like, literally my bride or die. Like, literally. And that is Anastasia's Sienna eyeshadow. Anastasia Beverly Hills shadows are my favorite shadows by far. It beats makeup forever. It beats, uh, what else is it? Makeup Geek, Morphe, anything. Like, her, like, quality and her makeup products are amazing. Her eyeshadows are the best i love them even matte shadows they're super duper blendable and everything like that whereas i find that matte shadows are sometimes hard to blend out my complexion whereas her colors like show so well i love them they're totally worth it they're not even too much they're 15 dollars. i know that's still a lot compared to like a lot of other shadows but it's not a, like there are shadows that are way more as well but this is like my go-to shadow i wear it every single day even if it's just by itself, I could wear it. I will repurchase this as long as she makes it and as long as I need it. This is my ride or die 100%. Like, I love this shadow. If you are anywhere near my complexion to a little bit lighter, I don't care what complexion you are. You need the shadow as long as you have a warm undertone. Okay, next I'm going to move on to eyeliner. So my ride or die eyeliner is the NYX. NYC, NYC eyeliner, their black liquid liner. I love this. I love this more than the Kat Von D liner. So much more affordable. It's like two or three dollars, probably less. It's less than five dollars for sure. It lasts forever. I purchased this so long ago and I use it every day and it's still there. It has a super fine tip. Let me show you. Open it. The tip is like super fine. It's really, really easy to create a sharp wig. It's really easy to fill it in. It's super duper black. I am wearing it today. I love this liner. Like you need this liner in your life. So for my Rider Dye mascara, I actually don't have the mascara, which kind of defeats the purpose of a big my Rider Dye. But I just get so many mascaras that I don't need to purchase it right now. But I definitely feel like I am going to purchase it because I miss it. But that is the Too Faced mascara i'm gonna insert the picture right over here somewhere just because i don't have it but i love this mascara you don't need to curl your lashes it gives you so much length it gives you so much volume like it's pretty packaging everything i love this mascara you need to try it it does have a little bit of fallout though it's like sometimes for me personally i don't think it does but i do know that it happens to a lot of people but i love this mascara like it's the best mascara i've ever tried okay so now that we've done all that stuff we're gonna go on to lips now for lips it was really hard for me to just choose one but i have three different colors that are definitely my ride or dyes so i'm gonna they're all different like shades and stuff like that but of course they are liquid lipsticks because i love liquid lipsticks they're the only thing i wear i have so many mac lipsticks i never wear any of them anymore because they just don't last on my lips so the first one is the one i'm actually wearing today and that is kylie's true brown k i love this shade it's like the perfect brown i wear it all the time it's super duper comfortable on the lips and lasts forever i love this one it's like the perfect brown i love it love it love it and then of course we have an anastasia one now anastasia's liquid lipsticks i find are kind of like a hit or miss some of them are like super duper dry and some of them are so comfortable so luckily this one is a super duper comfortable one and as for like the comfort level i feel like it depends on the shades by the way but this one is Ashton, of course. I wear this lipstick like whatever I want that no makeup makeup look. It's perfect. I have to wear it with the lip liner just because it is a little bit like light for me if I don't. Like if you're a little bit lighter than me, you could definitely pass. Like I don't know. I feel like I can even pass with it, but I just kind of like that light around it just because it's super light. But I love this one a lot. And then of course, you guys probably guessed it. My final one is Colourpop Tool. This is like my go-to lip liquid lipstick but like the reason i put these two in it as well is because like i just want to show you guys options but this is like my literally my ride or die i compare every liquid lipstick to this one this is so comfortable on the lips like i've never felt anything before the color lasts forever and i love how the color looks on like all skin tones so yeah i love this
Okay, so for my final product, we have a makeup setting spray. And obviously, I'm going to show you guys the Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. It's like something I have to use every day. No matter how much makeup I'm wearing, whether it's like a little bit or a lot, I have to use it. So that's about it, guys. Those are all my Ride or Die products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please make sure to click that thumbs up button because it would mean so, so much to me. And maybe even subscribe. And if you guys have any questions regarding any product, please make sure to leave them down below and I will answer them. And yeah, that's about it. Bye, guys.